This is Motorola Edge 70. It feels better. The sides are curved unlike Apple's which doesn't have a curved back. It feels fuller in the hand. The first page design is a bit flashy, very vibrant. The screen is only one millimeter thick but the actual display color and brightness are quite good. Let's first look at its texture and the arrangement of the three primary colors on the screen. Let's look at the internal structure of the 70 and how it solves heat dissipation. The back cover has a texture so we can't use a suction cup to remove it. We can only use a blade. The back cover is like tree bark so I was very very careful when disassembling. It. Now we remove the entire back cover. The battery percentage inside the entire body is much, much larger than the other phones I've disassembled. The main camera, wide angle camera, and front camera are all 50 megapixels. The two large lenses are here. And now phone waterproofing is getting better and better. But making the waterproofing too good isn't actually friendly to phone repair shops because the phone won't get wet anymore. Although the phone is thin, the main camera is still quite thick and the details are very well done. The back cover is made of metal. This piece is aluminum aluminum alloy, and the lens ring is also metal, giving it a very high quality feel. All the lens coatings nowadays, you can see the blue light coating when metering, and there's also scratch resistance. These are all done very well now. This doesn't look like a lens. It's used for testing during shooting. Taking out the motherboard here, we discovered that even with such a thin body, it uses a micro heat dissipation plate. The micro heat dissipation plate is attached to the back of the screen, and inside is a very thin micro heat dissipation plate. The center is hollow, filled with liquid. The design of the heat dissipation plate plate is that at the CPU location, it's raised above the plane, while other places are flat. We'll see the whole layout after we remove the screen and then take out the battery. Now let's remove the screen and look at its heat dissipation. After removing the screen, we can see the overall structure of the micro heat dissipation plate. There's also a heat dissipation sticker on the micro heat dissipation plate. Let's peel it off. Even with such a thin profile, a micro heat spreader has been added. Usually when we disassemble it, we find that the CPU and the copper foil or graphene in front are covered with thermal paste. This one cuts a brass block in the middle and attaches it directly above the CPU. Here, instead of thermal paste, a copper plate is used directly. This groove design allows for a tighter fit and higher heat dissipation efficiency. Let's look at the screen. It's incredibly thin, almost unbelievably so. The OLED is on this side with a touch screen in the middle, and a scratch resistant cover. It's now extremely thin. The screen is already incredibly thin. And the manufacturer has applied a protective film, but removing it makes it even thinner overall. The cover glass uses Corning Gorilla Glass, so scratch and wear resistance is definitely not a problem. Let's look at the screen itself. One millimeter compared to Apple's two millimeters. We can see the upper and lower halves. The upper half has a speaker, and the lower half has another speaker. The SIM card slot and linear motor are in the lower half, slightly above the charging port. There's also a subcutaneous fingerprint sensor in this area. From this, we can see the signal design of the entire frame. We can see a line here, a middle injection molding process, and another line on the outside. In this part, we can see the injection molding in the metal part. The entire frame has a lot of antennas, so the signal is definitely stronger than Apple's. This wireless charging cable is incredibly thin, extremely thin. I tore it off to look at it and I didn't even feel it in my hand. It has wireless charging. Holding it feels like it uses graphene for heat dissipation, but in reality, it's really very thin. The coil is barely visible. The entire wireless charging part is also very thin, right here in this tiny spot. Don't underestimate its thinness. The wireless charging can still reach 15 watts. The key point is that when phones become thinner, the battery won't have much power for charging. The Edge 70 battery can reach 68 watts fast charging. We can see that the bipolar design allows for a larger charging and discharging current. The battery is only 3.6 millimeters thick. Okay, let's put it back together. This phone has managed to pack a large capacity battery, dual physical SIM cards, and an efficient cooling system all into a slim and lightweight body, which is quite impressive. In addition, its AI features can greatly assist you in daily use, and many other practical features are also included. That concludes the Lenovo Moto Edge 7D Teardown. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.